<laughs> the first cover last, last, last Gone week, into uh, the gulag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to the Off The Field Podcast, episode four with myself, George and Louis. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. I'm feeling better. Yeah. Uh, my sore throat. Uh, that's <laughs> why I did. <laughs> that's probably missed an entire weekend of predictions. Um, mm. I, I was, I just couldn't speak. <laughs> yeah, this episode will be going out a little bit, it, it, a little it, bit it later. Wasn't, it wasn't great, but we're, we're back now. Um, yeah. No, I'll well, speak again. <laughs> it's a good job we didn't do any predictions because I don't think either of us would have got Chelsea down for a nil nil draw. Another, but another nil nil draw, and everyone another nil nil draw. Their, yeah. Losing their, uh, you know, losing their mind again on Twitter. Um, I mean, especially to I, Leeds as well. I, I, I think I, I think I said it before, didn't I? Where um, it's a case of I think two shows just sort of prioritising results and not conceding goals and building his way from the back up. Hmm. Rather than, you know, and we we are we're creating chances. We are, oh, yeah. we're putting them away. And you know, I it's, have it's, it's cool. we we haven't got someone like Hazard now who gets you like twenty points a season. Yeah, you know, for, for the chances and the goals and all the you know, chances creates and all the goals he you know he got. You know, we are having to look a little bit more for it now. And you know, it will it will come. I think I mean, yeah. Havertz, Havertz is back to his, his sort of pre-COVID self. Mm. Yeah, I mean, although although we would you'd say we dropped two points, we actually gained a point on Spurs and West Ham. So that is yeah, we, we, it, it's, a it's, a case, it's, yeah. it's always been a case with that. It's a case last season. Yeah. Even even far back as sorry, <laughs> we're dropping points. Everyone else around us is also dropping points. So mm. you can look at it as a case of oh, we haven't gained ground, but at the same time we haven't lost ground. Yeah. And so you know, I feel like it's been like that for a few seasons where like no one wants top four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it, it's, it's, it's a strange old season, I, it, and I, I do expect Leicester to still comfortably in there as, as well. Mm. So I, I, I could still change. I mean, what is it's about 10 games left, I believe. It's the thing, it's, it's still it's got to be about 9, 10, 11, something like that. Yeah, yeah I'll, I mean... I'll, I'll, I'll run in. I'll, actually, games is very, very nice. It's it's the games towards the end of the season. We, yeah, we've I got think our last three or four. City, our last three, I know our last three for sure, City, Arsenal and Villa. Nine points, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if City have got the league wrapped up, by, I mean, you say that, even when City do win the league, they're still rolled out with their strong Oh, teams, yeah, for sure. You know, um, Arsenal as well. Looking, I mean, they're always in the season strong, and they don't know Arsenal. That's always yeah. They'll be they'll be fighting for a top half finish. <laughs> they can't they can't seem to move from tenth at the moment. Bless mm. them. Yeah, I mean, I think as well. Um, I think West Ham have, I think Wolves, Leicester, and Arsenal coming up. I think so. They've got three three tricky well, games. Yeah, we've got we've got I got we've got West Brom soon. Yeah, we've got West Brom, Brighton coming up. I saw, I saw someone, I saw someone uh, tweet, I don't know if it was sarcastic or serious, but they said that they're not going to wake up early to watch Tuchel and uh, Sahar Dice play out a nil-nil draw. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, as long as we're going to go 3-0 down again, I don't mind. I remember watching that before and just thinking, this I'll is a good joke. I'm, 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 I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad oh, I that was an absolute joke, honestly. <laughs> but, that no, was so, I, so I, painful. I'm, kind of, I, I, I'm happy with how we progress. Mm. Um, I think we we look more defensively solid, which is important because that oh, costs a lot of points. Mm. We are creating chances. I think it's just the case now of finding that, that the strongest front three, and you know just sort of pushing, pushing for yeah. now, pushing for pushing for those, those goals because they will Turn come. The draws into wins, yeah. And you know it's 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 better to it's always better to draw than lose. Mm. I'd say, and, and you know, I, I I do think we should have beat these. We had we had a couple of good chances, but it's you know, what it is, isn't it? <laughs> nothing to dwell on, nothing to worry about. Mm. Go again uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, I mean, I think even actually on the topic of Chelsea as a whole, our women's team a bit of silverware at the weekend, just a a, a slender six nil win. <laughs> just, just about, just, yeah. just, 
I've watched them. I watched them a couple of times actually. Chelsea women's team. They're, they are some good players. Best, 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 uh, best women's team in the world. I don't care what anyone says. Super. Yeah, they're on for like a. Um, I can't remember the word, but to win for all five trophies that they 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 can possibly compete for. I don't know what to work for. I know four is single. Single. Swing, sing, troop, or so. I don't know. Just going to make a follow. The, the words begin with five. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah, but uh, Emma Hayes is an unbelievable because she's been there for what? A while. Uh, it's the longest, mm. I mean, the longest serving manager Chelsea ever going to play at the club. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, and so she was linked with the. Um, what job was she linked with? In um, Wimbledon. Wimbledon, wasn't she? Yeah. She should have been the first woman's manager to take a job in the men's game, wouldn't she? I thought uh, it, it, it needs to happen. I don't know when and how. Yeah. Um, it, it just it's going to take one club to do it and I mm. I, I don't want her to leave I think I, I remember seeing that I, was, I, I knew it wasn't going to happen I don't think I, don't, I think I think it's too many no. clubs that are scared to do it and mm. but I think when it does happen obviously I, I want it I want it to go well I want it yeah. to go well. and that's, that's the risk because then you're, th- you're looking at it from the say she had gone you're looking at it from cases she's got it Fairly easy at Chelsea. It's going really well. She's they're just getting better and better. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally wouldn't leave wouldn't leave Chelsea Women's to join a league. Was it League Two, League One team? League One. But then the thing about it, if it goes well, so she goes there, does really well, which I think she would have done. She seems like a mm. phenomenal coach, you know. It, um, what she's achieved and just seeing the team get better, it's Chelsea Women's to get better and better every year. Um, you know, I think it would have gone well. It, it would have been for of course, but I feel like if they gave her the time, which they probably would have done, she could have done so. Like and then that uh, in herself is a great achievement because then she's paving the way for other clubs to think, oh, look at Emma Hay, she's gone to Wimbledon. You know, she probably got some stick from the fans, probably got some stick from the players, or oh, I'm not taking any, any sort of instruction from women. You know, some, some, I, I'm not saying that's how I view it, but I'm saying that some people would, would you know, be thinking that, you know, in, mm-hmm. a, in the changing room. And if she'd gone on and, and, and achieved and achieved stuff, and um, maybe gotten promoted, or you know maybe a cut run or or, or what, and, you know paving that way for more women to come into the game, yeah, exactly, that could yeah, be a yeah. big achievement in in itself. Um. Anyway, going back, obviously, obviously we're two Chelsea fans, and we love talking about Chelsea, but um, there's rather a sort of a serious story of um, Rhys James, obviously, sort of similar age to us as well. Um, yeah, same. He would have been the same school year as me, which is kind of worrying. Yeah, so he he would he'd have been the year below me, but yeah, nice. A kid of that age been forced off Instagram because of sort of racial abuse, and I. It's a bit. I mean, we've spoken about this before, and I think the first first or second episode. It's just. Sort of unbelievable that it's got to a point now where players are just thinking, oh, you know, I'm just going to delete my account. It's it's just it's a strange one, really. I mean, it's, it just seems nothing's being done about it to fix the problem. No, it's being it's being brushed under the carpet too much, and the fact that no one has really came out, and from what I've seen, no one of um, I want to say, I think "point" is the right word. But you know, that kind of level, you know, like a, 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 a football figure, I mean, even the FA, for example, hmm. because it is a problem. I mean, you're, you know, you're, you're a footballer, especially in this day and age. You're, you're going to live and breathe social media. Um, you know, you're going to come, you're going to play football. You know, football training, whatever. And you, you, you want to go on Instagram. You want to go on Twitter. You know, you don't want to get abused. You just want to see. You know what's going on? You know, well, really, you know, trying to, mm. you know, decide. At the end of the day, they are normal people. You know, oh yeah, hundred percent. They might be, yeah. they might be uh, well, money. They might drive a nicer car, might have a nicer house, but they are just normal people. And mm. you know, like I say, you just would have gone home one day and said, oh, I, "I can't take this anymore." You know, it's, 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 dis- it's disgusting, really, that it's come to the, this, this point now where someone's had to leave a social media platform. Because yeah. you know, there's some trolls. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I was going to say something worse, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just to see social media platforms out to really just say hey, enough. I, I think 
one big thing that is needed is, like I said, the the use of photographic um, ID to sign up for social media. Mm. And, and, and like just to just like really clamp down on like if you if you get caught like even I'm not, I'm not saying throw them in prison straight away I'm not, I'm not saying that but the, the repeat offenders maybe yeah. but just just you gotta give them like some sort of warning to really make them think because at the moment it's a case of they ban the account they won't IP ban it they just ban the account and then they can just go do it again make another one yeah, yeah there's it's, it's, it's definitely it's, a serious issue and um. It's yes, let's all the data. The social media and you know, police and everything, they need to take more seriously and think, right, no, this needs to stop. Mm. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean we're not the only only club to sort of see it. I know Manchester United, I know Crystal Palace is a good example. I think it was Van Arnhol put on his story some messages that he'd received. Alizar returns from injury and didn't take the nil. He, for whatever reason, I think it was. He just oh, it's, and, it's, it's supposed to send across a message that no, enough is enough. But it, it's the message isn't being received, and, and it's still it's way too common. The abuse mm-hmm. and all the it's it's. I, I don't I don't blame him. And again, I think that's uh, I think more players will follow him. I think more clubs will follow. Um, with like what QPR, I think one of the clubs that aren't doing it anymore. Yeah, QPR um, definitely. Yeah, because I know Les Ferdinand, I think, said so, like director of football, basically said, "Yeah, we won't be doing it." It's not. I don't think there's any Premier League teams that aren't doing it. It's just no, no just Premier League teams are still doing it. Zaha, is it? I think. Mm-hmm. Just Zaha at the moment. Yeah, mm. but I think more will follow suit. Yeah, because it's quite I think, obvious. Yeah, I get people worried, but. I, mm. I, like I said, I, I understand why Zaha's not doing it. I have no problem with mm. Zaha not doing it. I'm not going for abuse of Zaha for not doing it. You know, it's... Oh, yeah. yeah, it is, a, it is a, um, a hard topic. Obviously, like I mentioned, we'd spoken a, a lot about it before. and it, Yeah, it would just be nice to see some sort of effort being put in to change it. But at the moment... Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you've got to ask, like, how serious of a case do you need for something to finally happen? Because <laughs> it's, it's not just a recent issue, is it? Let's be honest, it's been going on for, well, far too long. Years, years, mm. years. It's, and it's only really starting now. It, 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 like I said, it, it, there is stuff being done about it, but still not enough. But it's only really it's not enough, enough, yeah. Yeah, stuff is being done, which is just... And we 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 drift it back. We we move from Chelsea. We drift it back now to the Premier League. Obviously, we we got two weekend results. Like I said, obviously, I apologise for for dying. Coming <laughs> 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 last, uh, last, last uh, the, into uh, the gulag. The, yeah, exactly. The previous, uh, the not last weekend, the weekend result before results. Obviously, um, we sort of did a club by club. Obviously, uh, City finally lost. Did they like, United? But obviously, uh, bounced back again. This weekend, which is to be expected against uh, a tough, a tough side to beat at the moment, Fulham. Yeah. And Scott Parker's Scott Parker's magical coat. <laughs> that coat is. Uh, one is one is misses coat, coat, coat isn't it? Yeah. He's, he's questionable. I mean, he's he, he's probably missing Chelmsford this weekend. That's probably what. <laughs> that's probably what. Oh, that yeah. that's, that's, that's the sort of coat you'd see in in the Chelmsford High Street, mate. Trust me. Oh, like that was. It's not a good look, it? I mean, he, listen, and Fulham are doing really, really well. I, I want him to be better again just for that coat alone. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, yeah. it, it was crystal at most. But obviously, yeah. Um, so it's a, like I said, you know, uh, City has to bounce back. Oh, it would technically bounce back in in midweek with that win over uh, Southampton. Mm. But you know, the CO two goals still was a, the question marks of some of the defending after that defeat uh, against United. Having to come into this weekend, way trip to a Fulham side, uh, who are three nil, yeah. and with Fulham now, who are probably the most improved team really since the turn of the year, since so coming mm-hmm. um, into twenty twenty one. Yeah, um, for sure. Beat beat Liverpool and Anfield, which is not hard them to do at the moment, but it's still <laughs> a, a, a great achievement. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I, I I can I mean I, I saw signs of the thing with Fulham is that kind of that watching that game, uh, the City game. 
kind of reminded me of uh, Norwich. Uh, again, no East Lake for Adam. <laughs> Have to mention Norwich somewhere. Obviously. <laughs> somewhere in there. But kind of reminded me of uh, of Norwich or even um, Blackpool a few years ago, uh, quite a few years back. Uh, they always wanted to play football. Yeah, I would play it a bit too much. They, yeah, I made a few mistakes, kind of, didn't I? Yeah, and they kind of stopped prioritising the result. And it, because there was definitely times, I mean, because in the first half, they really you know, they gave it a good go. And they kind of came out again, fine, in the second half. And then you could see that goal early on in the second half after giving them a free yeah. kick. It, it's kind of a case of, uh, I think they could have got a point in that. Mm. As soon as one went in, it was just, it was just, yeah. just yeah. on when they just started falling in. But... but I still think they've got enough to just... Stay up, I think, just about. I mean, I hope they do, and I hope, I hope, mm, hope I'd like to see Newcastle go down. I mean, Brian oh. and Newcastle only just got a point mm-hmm. um, uh, against Villa. Uh, they, I wasn't too convinced of them, if I'm being no. honest. I uh, did, didn't look. It, they kind of left it a bit late, and uh, they they looked better when they brought Andy Carroll on. Mm. <laughs> Surprising statement. Everyone won the bottom so late. Obviously, the aerial ability it's, it's really helping. They got that late goal, which is a, a valuable point. Uh, it's it's a, t- it's a very it's a tough one though, because it's very obviously like the Brian gained a bit of ground, but I, 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 Brian won as well, didn't they? They won, yeah, they won two one. one. It's a fancy one. Yeah, big result there. Huge result. Yeah, I, 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 and the moment I still lean towards Fulham having just, just, just enough to stay up. Mm. I think they're definitely odds on to just miss, miss out and staying up. But well, I, I would like, to, I would like to see it change because some of the teams that are down there are just so boring. Whereas Fulham have really given it a good go, but just lack a bit of quality. In certain areas, which is same, same Brighton, for Brighton would be having yeah. a dry right now if they had that a better strike quality because mm. they, they're both teams create the chances. It's just, it's just about the strike, it's just have, not having that. It's to Chelsea in a sense, but apart from that, we have slightly better quality in other areas. Mm. Whereas Fulham and Brighton, Brighton don't are, but I know I think I think Fulham and Scott Park is wonderful. Choice for tire magic clothes <laughs> to keep them up. <laughs> that have, yeah, I just just enough to stay out. Um, yeah. might, might be similar to, similar story to Villa last season. Yeah, stay out the the mm. skin of the teeth. I'm yeah. sure Park uh, will take it whenever, really. But <laughs> you know, there will spark some uh, unreal t- change, change room celebrations, which Roy Keane will not be pleased about. <laughs> what about probably the, probably a. Good contender for goal of the season, Lamella. Oh, I mean, I, I don't do that much sleep, mate. But <laughs> it, was a, it was a. I mean, he he had the most North London derby uh, game ever. Come with the sub, scored a wonder goal, get sent off. Yeah, <laughs> team team lost. Deservedly um, sent off as well. Yeah, no, but Spurs in that first half were dreadful. They weren't very impressive. For they them. were dreadful in that yeah. first half, and I was. It's it's a very Spurs like thing to do this season. Where yeah, they just don't against, feature. I can I can I can list the, every Spurs game under the sun this season, and they they come out in 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 the first half, not play football, not wanting to play football, and then they get they 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 somehow only see one goal, or don't yeah. see, and then they come out in the second half and actually you know it's I don't I don't understand it, and they they're very lucky that they're only. Uh, well, we're lucky it was one all. Uh, I mean, mm. uh, Arsenal should have had a three or four. Yeah, I mean, I mean, all credit to Arsenal. They did. They were the better team on the day. Like they actually played better football, and I think they were really good down that left side of Tierney. Uh, Matt Matt Doherty had an absolute nightmare. But did Smith Rowe and Erdegaard as well. The mm. switching and the looks, like, uh, looks like Sons picked up a hamstring injury, which is a big loss for them. I'm not that sad. He's a good player, but he's another one of the Spurs players. Like, it's not to hate Spurs, I just dislike a lot of their players. Lamella, oh, Harry, yeah. Son, Kane. Um, Bale. I hate my Bale. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of Arteta? I, I'm, 
I don't know. With Arsenal, like I feel that you can say what you like about Arteta and transfers and all that. But I think in terms of players going out, they've done really well. They got rid of a lot of dead wood. But in terms of actual tactics and stuff, they just shoot themselves in the foot. And it, I, you can see what he's trying to do with Arsenal, but the the the, 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 the big problem with them is that they make so many mistakes. And it doesn't ever seem to be those mistakes are ironed out. They always seem to remain. Come back, yeah. And, I know so some this... I mean, sorry, I, I know it's harsh sometimes to blame mistakes on managers because I know from sort of personal experience, like you sort of, you set your team up, they've got a clear instruction and then mistakes, you can't sort of change that. But with our terrorists, like, because they're playing, they don't have the players to play the way they're playing, which makes them make mistakes, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like, like mm-hmm. in, um, Shaka uh, against Burnley, mm-hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. That's insanity, but yeah, it, and you can see what he's trying to do. You can see that there's an idea there, but in this case, of, well, are you going to get the players in? Are you going to get given the time? Because if if you're Arsenal, because they're not the, the thing. If you're Arsenal's board, right, you got to think. Right, yeah, he's got us an epic cup. He's got a security shield. But is he going to take us to the next level? And then if if he's because in in theory this season it'd be worse off if they finish outside the European places. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't think they're going to win the European League. No, nah, I don't think they've got enough quality for that. So you can go yourself, okay, so are we in actually a better position? And then do we give them another zero? Mm. It's a, it is a strange one. I mean, if they were like, you see it against Burnley, like, what is Shaka doing making that pass like on the penalty spot? <laughs> what is Lloyd? Tap back to Leno, and then Leno yeah. just, it's... Uh, well, Leno can just go long to start with, but yeah, I, I don't you know. You say a lot about Kings at the back, they don't know, and they just go yeah. long anyway. They put well, why don't you do that to start with? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I respect Arsenal for, for sticking with it. It'd be interesting to see, you know, if he's given a bit of bit of money to work with and then see where they can go next season. But for me, some of their players still really not, I don't know, like. Some of the players just aren't good enough. Simple as that, really. I think that's just the harsh reality of it. Like, he only, like, the penalty was so... <laughs> it was yeah, so lucky. Like, yeah. He completely missed the ball. And he's managed to get a penalty out of that. Just... Do you think it was a penalty, then? Yeah, it, 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 it is a penalty. I don't know why. I, do, I, I mean, we really can moan about it all day long. But the, 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 the thing is, is that... Uh, I know why Sanchez is coming across him, he, you know, mm. but he's, he's nowhere near the ball. Yeah, he was never, like, never going to get anywhere near the ball, was he? Mm. <laughs> My perception of it is, if Lacazette say like dummy did, and then he took him out, I don't think Mourinho would have moaned at all. But because he tried to, well, just completely air kicked it and then got taken out, he's like, oh well, he's missed the ball, blah blah blah, but. You know, I think either way, it's, it's still a foul, isn't it? It's, it's just taking them out. Yeah. Like. It's, a, it's a penalty. It's not, mm. you know, it's, it's not the worst foul I've ever seen. It's not the best foul yeah. I've ever seen. But it's, it, it, it's, it's a foul. It's, mm. it's no I, think, I think Spurs actually got a blessing from VAR anyway, because I think Kane was lucky. You know, when he came in with the, the elbow on, was it Gabriel? Or Shaq? I can't remember it was on, but he got lucky, I think, personally. I mean, we can... Oh, VAR. VAR, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm sure the clubs just... are giving feedback on that. The, 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 I, just miss it. I, I miss football. With it. I mean, we saw it last night, uh, an instance where this new offside rule and and, and then VAR, it caused an injury, like a serious mm. injury. And I, I'm pretty sure it was down for a while as well. Uh, 15 minutes. I think it's about 15. 15 minutes from them watching. Yeah, about 15 minutes. I think mean, they were mm-hmm. on the pitch for. So I hope he's okay. Um, we don't like to say it. it's happened twice now to Wolves. Him and Ernst, yeah, um, just can't buy any luck. But the, it was offside in the first place. And and the, the, this, this, is, this is the thing. Like, what? It's, it's an hard one to say, right? Because if the linesman raises offside, the ref's going to put it straight away. And if it's the wrong decision, 
you can't veer, you can't say, okay, let's have a VR review, and then just try and just replay the move. You can't do that. Mm. So I, I get why they have to sort of delay the brazen of the flag. Because they just say, like, he, it's, let's say he goes on the score, and in, in VR, I can then say, oh, that's no, offside, right? Fair enough. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. But it's a case of, in, let's say, referee raises flag, not offside, and he could have scored, then it's a, you know. So I, I get that, but. I just think I just think it's, it's a hard worse. one. I just it think is. Yeah. Lucky they don't ask for the fans' perception on it. <laughs> I, I know. It, I mean, it's you, you see it now in like in, in Champions League and the Euros World Cup. It's run smoother, so it probably be something to do with the level of officiating in, in the Premier League. The the level of referee and just gets worse every weekend. In, for me. Know, I so, I know it's something you have to live with. I know it's something that it's not going to go anywhere. But I just hope that they they just find a way to make it better. Instead of just changing the rules, it'd be uh, insanity. It's definitely of insanity doing the same thing mm. over and over again, expecting different results. It's, but another another thing I've noticed um, with VAR. When was the last time? Well, I know they do look at the screen every now and again. But I feel like they started off looking at the screen a lot. And then it's just sort of faded out, and they're not using it anymore. I think and it's like, because they're, they're, they're just trying to. It's 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 like so say you're at work and you make a mistake, mm. and I'm I'm watching you, and I can I can basically say oh you've made a mistake, but then like yeah. you know you're, you're my mate, so I'm, like, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to yeah. try and like cover over it. Be nice. About it's kind it, of a, yeah, be nice about it. yeah. It's kind of because I feel like what they do with VR. It's mm. like, you know, every probably should have given out, but let's just let's just glaze over it. It kind of yeah. feels a bit like that sometimes. Or, yeah, I mean, I. The thing is, like, what I can't remember what the example was the other day when it was used to good effect, but there was there was one where it was like, oh, it was the Burnley thing, wasn't it? Where the um, Eric Peters hit his shoulder yeah, yeah. bar, but he the ref gave a penalty and a red card. That's what it's good for. But it seems like you get like 50 bad uses of it with like offsides by like a tone out. And then you get like one thing where like this the, is the offside you know, is like, needs to be changed. Because oh, yeah. if it's not clearly offside, it needs to be some like a, a yard or so. It's not mm-hmm. clearly offside. Because I, and I, and I told something about it. I'm like, yeah, but if you're offside or offside, I'm like, no, 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 no. No. It's like with, 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 with Team Overno, that one against Liverpool. His hand was offside. No one wants to see an offside goal being this... Well, sorry. Well, a goal given offside for, you know, like a, an arm. Because you can't score with your arm. You can't use your arm in football. It's not handball, is it? <laughs> you know, I, I think that was a, a joke of a decision, but... And the thing is with VAR, like you can almost guarantee this weekend there'll be some sort of story where it's like, oh, that's controversial, you know, that's not a penalty, that's not offside. It's just like a weekly thing now, and it's just nothing seems. It's kind of like the, like, the debate of race, and nothing seems to be mm. changing, even though it's clearly an issue there. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. But I mean, obviously, a bit of FA Cup action this weekend as well, so hopefully. Well, if you screw up VAR and an FA Cup and a team goes out as a result for it, you'd feel even more hun- hard done by, wouldn't you? But it's not VAR in every game, though, because of um, if they're using Premier League grounds. That's another thing that I don't like. Because it's sort of like you could have, like, I don't know, Bournemouth a plan at home to Southampton. I don't know if it's the other way around or not, but use that as the example. Yeah. And say, like, Danny Ings gets taken out, Stonewall penalty. And doesn't get given, and Southampton end up losing on penalties or something. Where if it was the other way around, they'd have got the penalty and gone through. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like, yeah, oh, no, I, I do agree. It's, it, it, if you can't use it every ground, then don't, don't use it at it. all. Yeah, yes. 100%, it's the same with the League Cup. Right? Yeah. The League Cup do it in the same final stage. I'm like, no, if you can't use it every ground, do not use it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like it like that, but. Well, actually, I'd probably say the worst team in there, Sheffield United. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we don't do them, I'm, I'm done. They were so bad against Leicester. That I ran Vardy, though, and, and, I, and Ian Acho were... Yeah. But Vardy was, was someone who's... For someone who's not scoring goals, he's still yeah. an incredibly effective player. The, the pass for Ian Acho's second goal was... Yeah, the one he took with his right foot, put it in sort of the sort of top right area. Should we also do a prediction, but not count this one, but uh, you just talk about tomorrow night. Also, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, sure, yeah. But by the time this goes up, the game has already been played. But then we'll cover mm. the uh, aftermath of it, I guess, next week. Chelsea versus Real Madrid. Would you? Well, actually, obviously, you take a nil-nil, but. <laughs> how how painful will that be to watch? That'll be painful. I am I am worried because in the first leg we were superb. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They're gonna they're gonna have to come at us more. They can't just hit us on the. I mean, another thing as well. We're about. See, this is this is where I think all the Chelsea fans are gonna predict it wrong. I think they're going to turn up, give us all the ball, and just hope that they get one chance and they take yeah. it. Because then, obviously, we'll have to come and do a bit more. And then that makes a more open game. I don't think they'll come out and throw it's us. Yeah. And pin no, us yeah, in. I think you're probably right there. I mean, without Mason Mount, I, I don't think, I mean, Georgina is a slight loss, but I mean, can't take him in. So I think we're fine mm. at that department. Without. Tammy without Thiago Silva as well. We've got some big players missing for sure. But we've dealt really well without Thiago Silva. Um, hmm. You know, Christian's playing like Prime ID. Oh, so he's, Christensen's been a mess. He's on a different level at the moment. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's just <laughs> so rude again. I really get really good reason. They both play out of their skin. Yeah. I mean, really good probably enjoyed having another German there. <laughs> yeah. There's a few of them now, aren't there? You know, Three players just, and the manager. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go one 0 Chelsea. I'm gonna go one 0 go I think we'll go one 0 up, and they'll score reasonably late on, and it'll be I don't know. We just don't do anything easy, do we? I think there'll be a bit of a bit of tension there, but so obviously right. So we have got our predictions for Chelsea and Atletico, and we both agree we're gonna go through, which is good. <laughs> Hopefully, by the time we go through, we can have a Euro away day next. Uh, oh, no, we can't. Because we're still being knocked down. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> next we to, year, mate. We go to Istanbul. You know, never know. But we'll move away from the Istanbul dreams. <laughs> are you ready Are you ready for the predictions for this week? Yeah, mate. I'm worried. I need, I need a big week here. Right. So we'll start now. So we'll start with Fulham Leeds. 2-1 Fulham. I'm always going to go 2-1 Fulham. And we're going to go to Saturday, Brighton, Newcastle. 1 0 Brighton. I'm going to go 2 1 Brighton. And then uh, Bournemouth, Southampton. I'm going to go Bournemouth to win on penalties. I'm going to say 2 1 Bournemouth after extra time. Uh, Everton City. 3 1 City. I'm going to go 2 0 City. West Ham Arsenal. West Ham Arsenal. I'm going to go 2 0. I'm going to go 2 1 West Ham. Uh, Villa Spurs. 2 1 Spurs. I'm going to go 2 1 Villa. Chelsea Sheffield United. 2 0 Chelsea. I'm going to go 3 0 Chelsea. Leicester United. 1 0 Leicester. 2 1 United after each time. And that was that was under a minute this week as well. We can go on to Monday, mate. We can predict African Cup of Nations. <laughs> <laughs> the one I'm really not sure about there was Tottenham to beat Villa at Villa. But I'm going to stick with it. Well, so I can't go back now, but... Uh, but no, there's no... Um, so after this weekend, there's international break, unfortunately. Yeah, um, unless you want us to predict the scores for the international break, you have to let us know, but it's yeah. not as interesting. <laughs> Loving it. But we will be back. We'll probably do a more topic based issue. So, again, Twitter comments, let us know what we'll talk about. We'll probably just do one big topic. Um, 
I mean, we can uh, we can look uh, we can think of something. We think of something, but we can have a, we can have a little little preview for the upcoming Euros, maybe on the topic of internationals. See who we're gonna we're gonna pick as our favourites, and the surprise package. You never know. Yeah, we we'll do a Euro. We we'll do a Euro preview. Then we'll cover some of the Euro games, um, as I'm sure. I mean, I I'm gonna be honest. Probably won't watch them. But <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we will cover them, and then like I said, we'll, we'll sort of look forward, uh, look ahead to the tournament. Um, but yeah, that has been episode four. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, thanks for following us on Twitter. Um, and yeah, we will see you all next week. Shit is the champ. Shit is the champ. I can tell who's on the ground. Twenty five show to the.